good morning i've just got ready for the day it's chucking it down outside it looks grotesque and i've got to go into town in this yeah not looking forward to it but i've got myself up and out of bed i woke up just feeling really um really weird today i just got i just feel really anxious i don't know whether it's like the christmas um period looming i absolutely love christmas but i've got so many ideas and so many things that i want to get done I think it's just like puddling my brain. My hormones are all over the place. I just feel really weird. Uh, but anyway, I've made myself get up. I could have quite easily lay there all day, but um, it's not gonna get anything done, is it? So, does anybody else feel like they have one to two good weeks um, in their cycle that are good, and then the rest is just like, oh, is a write-off? <laughs> I don't know whether I've got something wrong with me, but I've been doing quite a bit of research into uh, hormone health and it's it's so interesting. But uh, yeah, it's definitely, this is my week three um, in my cycle and it's just a write-off for me. But anyway, like I said, I'm ready to go into town. I've got a few Christmas gifts I need to pick up and there's a few little independent like boutique -y shops I want to have a look at see if I can find any presents for anyone and I need to buy myself a new pair of skinny jeans because my old ones don't fit because I've put weight on from all the comfort food this time of the year so yeah I can't do the I can't do the button up but I don't I'm not even bothered I'll just buy a new pair so yeah already I will show you my outfit nothing mind-blowing I've literally just got my cream cable knit jumper on with a long sleeve underneath because it is freezing I wanted to wear the neck up but it just irritates me so I'll probably oh, I quite like it half up half down I've burnt myself as well I don't know if you can see on the curlers this morning that is so sore so I just got that on and I paired it with my new flares from M&S these are my first Marks and Spencers clothing purchase is that a sign of age They've got some really nice stuff in there, to be fair. I'm literally wearing my capsule wardrobe still, and I thought these would be a really nice addition. They're really thick. They've got this nice, like, pleated sort of seam down the front, and then this white stripe that goes all the way down, and they've got pockets, so they're like a dream trouser for me. And then I've just got them on with my hedgehog socks <laughs> and selected femme trainers which have seen better days but they're so comfy i love them um i've just got to add jewelry i will prop you up and show you what i'm wearing so i'm just going to put my jewelry on for the day i've already got my watch on my engagement ring i need to get a couple more rings out i'm going to wear this little tea bar necklace anna louisa have kindly sent me a few more pieces which i will show you in a minute but i've had this for ages i love it it's just a really plain will it go around my massive collar oh no there we go it just sits really nice just a plain tea bar love this i wear it pretty much every day and then do i wear two or will it irritate me i've got like this little bobbly one do they look nice together yeah that looks nice it's just really plain chain with these little bobbles on i've got a shorter one as well they came as like a set i will link these down below if you're after some affordable gold jewelry then anna louisa is the place put an ear cuff on just to jazz the old ear up and then I've got three new pairs of earrings, which I'm so excited about. I love the earrings. I wear a pair, I think they're called the Venus, which I've got a new pair of. Um, oh, these are them. They're the really plain gold hoops. And I just wear these literally, not even lying when I say this, every day of my life. I adore these. They're perfect. They're so lightweight and they just... Just look really classy and elegant, so I absolutely love these. So I've got myself a new pair. I saw these on there, which are so cute. I thought they would be a little bit bigger, but um, they're smaller. But they're so cute. They're like these little chain detail hoops. How nice are they? I'm actually going to go and get my seconds pierced. I've only got one hole remaining, so I need to get them re-pierced. The other one's closed up for some reason. Uh, I'll go and get those done at the shop um, and then I can wear these in my second holes I think they'll look nice in seconds than they would in my first basically just because I have had my ears stretched and I've still got this little it's gone down so much I think they were 14 millimeters I stretched my ears to and I've just let them go down naturally um, and they've only left like a little bit of a hole the only thing is I have to wear earrings that clasp like that i can't wear studs or anything in them 
Um, and then these are my absolute favourite. I've been eyeing these up on there for ages and they're like a kind of like a rope twist sort of detail. I hope you can see those. I hope the camera's picking it up. They're absolutely gorgeous. They remind me of like a vintage style earring. So yeah, I'm going to put these in now. I love these. I'm going to wear these to death. I know it. They're not that heavy either, which is nice. I find some earrings pull my ears down. Oh, I love them. And they all come in these little cute pouches as well. Brilliant for gifting. Um, I'm sure you guys know about Anna Louise. I bang on about them all the time and I wear their jewellery daily. They're a sustainable jewellery brand. They're a carbon neutral company. Their prices are really affordable as well. I think they start from about $39. You can get some really nice pieces that don't tarnish. They last for ages. I've had those other Venus, the first pair I showed you. I had the other earrings of those for about, I'm going to say two, three years. I don't know how long I've been like talking to Anna Louise as a brand, but like, ages um but they've lasted so well i've only bought another pair just because i love them so much all the packaging is sustainable as well it comes in recycled paper um sorry recycled cardboard but they have given me a code for you guys especially for you lot which is kate h20 i will pop it across the screen brilliant pieces for gifting over the holiday period I'm probably going to order a few more pieces. I know my sister-in-law would really like these. I think she'd love these, but I'm keeping them. <laughs> but I might order another pair. They haven't got any unnecessary markups. It's just really affordable. You get what you pay for. The quality is insane. I am a huge fan, as you all know. I feature them in pretty much every outfit I wear. I'll show you a close-up of these. They are so nice. It's hard to show on camera. Let me try and zoom in. They're absolutely stunning. I love these so much. And I think they are a nice upgrade to my plain Venus ones. So yeah, those are my pieces from Ana Luisa. Make sure you use my discount code if you are ordering anything because it will get you 20% off, which is a huge saving. I need to find a coat. It seems to have brightened up slightly. Um, I don't know what to wear. I might just wear my barber or something so I don't get wet, but... What are you doing? I can hear you licking your feet from up here. Naughty puppy. I thought while we're here, I would put a few rings on as well. I'm just going to go through my jewellery box and show you which ones I'm going to wear. I'm going to put my Nan's wedding ring on because I love it so much. It's the perfect gold tone. It goes with all of the Ana Luisa pieces. This is a little signet ring from them, which I wear constantly. And I've got the bigger signet ring on one of my necklaces. I'm sure I showed you in a vlog before. It makes a really nice stacking piece or it just looks really nice on its own. I've got the grey and gold ring i can't remember for the life of me their names but i will leave all of these linked in the description box and it's adjustable i forget to wear that one i think i've got two of those yeah that is how that one looks i sometimes wear them one on top of another they're so nice for stacking and i just think they look really expensive so that's two worn on top of each other i'm ready to leave i've just run up the stairs and oh my god i'm so out of breath <laughs> i've just popped on my big hands tooth coat and my little crossbody bag. I feel like a bit of a balloon. <laughs> I feel like I've got way too many clothes on and I'm gonna be sweating around the shops, but I quite like the coat with the trousers. So yeah, I feel like it looks better in person, but that might just be me. Um, I don't think I said where anything from. Coat's sheen and jumper is sheen ages ago. I don't even know when. I haven't shopped on there for ages. Um, bag is H&M. Trousers are Marks and Spencers. Shoes are selected fan. Got all my jewellery on and oh I could do a paint my nails, but hey ho. I'm in love with these earrings. I've taken some of my rings off just because of anti-backing in the shops and I am still that person that wants to clean my hands all the time. But I've left the earrings, ear cuff, necklaces and a couple of rings on this hand. Right, I need to stop waffling and get to the shops. The traffic in town today is something else. Probably shouldn't be filming when I'm driving, but oh my god, I'm that bored. <laughs> We're slowly moving. I think they've got half the town dug up. Which is rather annoying, but I think, from what I can see, we are now getting somewhere. I just hope to god there's somewhere to park, because if all the car parks are full, then I don't know where I'm going to park. I'm going to have to take the car home and walk in, and that will take half the day, so... <laughs> 
not the best idea. I've just dropped a couple of parcels off at the Yodel drop-off point that I've sold on Vinted. I've done really well on Vinted this week. I've made like a couple of hundred quid in the space of about seven days. So if you need the memo to clean your wardrobe out, then that is it. <laughs> I got caught in the rain so I had to buy myself a hat from Primark. It wasn't intended but I needed one this colour anyway and when I came across it I thought well that is perfect. Absolutely pissing down and I got soaked. My hair is just still really damp at the, <laughs> at the root. The rest of it has dried out a bit but so uh, yeah I just look like a drying rat. So I managed to get a couple of things. It was a bit of a fail. I bought a couple of presents for our friend's dogs from there's a new dog shop open. It's like a family owned dog shop i'll link their website down below actually called hugo and ted i bought them some natural dog treats and i think we're gonna go and get bert and barry a new collar from there for christmas and they make really nice ones a tree decoration for our friends one each um and they look like their dogs these are the dogs that i bought the shoes for i was literally just wandering around with not a clue what to buy anyone i feel like as we all get older it gets so much harder but um yeah we've got the food show tomorrow so hopefully i can get a few bits from there for people and it's weird isn't it when you get older you, if you want something you just buy it yourself you don't rely on somebody else to get it for you so i just feel like everyone i know and all our family just buy their own stuff so christmas is really hard but yeah, a few nice bits anyway I've got in mind. I've just come back to a delivery from a brand called April. It's really, it's funny because this morning I was saying how weird I feel um, in my cycle. Basically they're a supplement brand and they specialise in balancing out your hormones. So when I, when I got the email, I was like, yes, please, I will definitely try some of these because anything's worth a go isn't it the packaging is so nice i love it so they sent this really cool picture which says all the feels um they also sent a t-shirt as well with loads of different names for your vulva <laughs> on which is so cool but i've left it in the other room i'll show you that but yeah so basically we've got all the feels which is a food supplement which helps balance out your hormones i don't know how to say any of these donkway or donkai um, chasterberry, ginger root, they're vegan, gluten-free, all made in the UK. I've just taken two of these. It says to take two a day. How nice is the packaging? This is right up my street. And what does it say on the box? It says it supports you through all phases of your monthly cycle. Um, the benefits are hormonal balance, PMS relief, which I need because I'm a miserable bastard all the time. <laughs> bloating reduction which i also need because i can't fit into any of my jeans i feel like when week three approaches of my cycle i'm just a bloated horrible mess basically it's meant to relieve symptoms of pms which is amazing if it does because i do suffer quite badly um the ginger root um aids bloating stomach pain and nausea so if you do suffer with your menstrual cycle then i'll let you know what if if these are any good basically obviously it's my first time using them someone's wrote all the feels transform me from a pms monster to a functional human being lifesavers really excited to um start using these i will report back and then they also do this one which is called vijay i'm guessing it's vijayj hero it's vjj hero and they're a down there capsule the benefits of these are vaginal flora balance urinary tract health and it improves gut health as well 10 million friendly bacteria to support a healthy vaginal balance if you suffer with um what they're called like urinary infections uh, cystitis or anything like that this is meant to help i think i'm pretty sure it's got cranberry in it um, yeah, D manos, cranberry and hibiscus to help prevent infections in the urinary tract. Um, so yeah, one, you've got to store these in the fridge, I think. Haven't tried any of these, but take two capsules daily with water. Store in the fridge, 100% vegan, gluten-free, and again, made in the UK. Made with friendly bacteria and our signature pink blend of D manos, hibiscus and cranberry. 
So I'm very excited to try these products. Thank you so much, April, for sending them over. The packaging is divine. I'm right up my street. So yeah, I'm looking forward to trying to calm down my hormones, basically. <laughs> Whether it's because I'm getting older or I've never really suffered that badly, but I feel like the last probably four years, I've noticed a huge difference in PMS. I'm just grumpy, bloated, angry with the world, um, so easily agitated, like beyond belief. I don't know how Paul puts up with me, but like the slightest thing it just flips me over the edge. I could just be washing up and drop something and it make a real loud bang in the sink and I'm just like, oh my God, I want to kill everyone. <laughs> so I'm looking forward to, I mean, I'm laughing about it, but it does affect me and it does get me down. So. Yeah, looking forward to trying those. If you've tried anything from this brand before, do let me know because I'm very intrigued to know if it works. So yeah, I'm gonna go and unpack what I bought from the shops and don't know what I'm gonna do with the rest of my afternoon. It's already half past three, so not a lot of day daylight left. I'll show you my rosemary wreath I made. Oh shit. <laughs> Have I shown you this? I don't know. The lighting is going to be terrible. But I just made it from all the rosemary in the garden. Hang on. I'll show you it this way. A bit more light on the subject. I love how simple it is. It's not the best wreath I've ever done. But I found this red. Oh, it's so wet from being outside. Red and gold ribbon from last year. And I've basically just made these. It's called dogwood. It's like this red real bendy wood that's in my mum and dad's garden so I cut a load of that down and then just attached my rosemary it's a bit limp because it's been out in the rain but I feel like a wreath is better the more rustic it is um I know not everyone likes a rustic one a lot of people like them with everything in place and perfect but I'm more on the rustic side of things so yeah I'm gonna put it on the front door when the time is right. I'm going to photograph it for my potting shed Instagram. I look like such a gnome in this hat. I don't think it suits me, <laughs> guys. Oh dear. <laughs> Excuse the hair. I've just curled it and I haven't brushed it out properly. Stunning day. And a really weird time to start a vlog. But I've literally, it's three o'clock in the afternoon. And I've just got out of the shower. I've done my hair. Um, just because some friends messaged earlier and asked if I wanted to go out for some drinks tonight. So I was planning on having a lazy day makeup free and my hair was greasy and horrible but um yeah i've had to get in the shower and smarten myself up even though i am still in my hoodie with my porridge on it from this morning <laughs> i've spent a lot of time on the computer today trying to get hold of peter cake tickets because he's doing another tour um, but I've been on there three hours and I'm not prepared to sit on there anymore. I just can't be bothered. So we won't be going unless they release some more. Um, they make it so difficult. It's just, I was in a queue of about 85,000 people. So yeah, and I got there and there's no ticket. So why, can't, why they just can't tell you that at the start rather than you sit in there for fucking hours. I don't know, but I've started going through my Etsy stuff. As you can see from the tree in the background, I bought this little one from Sainsbury's just to display my Etsy stuff on because I need to reshoot it all to, just to make it a little bit more Christmassy on there so people can shop it. We've got the present toppers, we've got the mini wreaths, we've got all the little frames here that hang on the tree. Uh, so yeah, I've just been doing that. I've got a load more frames here that I need to do. So that has been my day. So I'm going through all of my um, press flowers just to see which ones will work best for Christmas. I've done quite a lot already but I'm just having a look seeing whether any of the others would work. Just so I can release a few new f ones for Christmas. I quite like these gems I've done but I prefer them with a stalk on. I feel like they're just a little bit boring with just the flower so I need to do some more eucalyptus. In fact I might do one um, and cut some off the tree outside. I like these thistles as well, but again, they look nicer on their stalk, so I don't know. These ones I cut off my Love in the Mist um, plant, but they faded lows. They were bright blue when I picked them, but I think they might be quite nice for Christmas because they're kind of still white and they've got the blue tips on, so I might do one of those. This, I can't remember what this is called, but I absolutely love it, but again, it looks nicer on the stem than it does 
in a tiny frame. Petals, they're just for, I don't know what I'm going to do with those. I love them because I can see, you can see all like the veins in the petals. Um, they're so pretty. I think they came off a, a stock plant. Sweet peas, which again look better on the stalk, I think. Um, and then they're a bit faded and they're just different ones I've done that I need to frame. So I'm going to crack on and do that and then I'll show you the ones I've put on the tree already. We've got an ivy frame. This is white status. Um, these are called honesty. Some hydrangea. I love the hydrangea one. It's probably one of my favourite. Pink heather if it wants to focus. Pink heather and they're all on these really nice moss green velvet ribbons as well which I love. Um, I'd quite happily keep all these for my tree but I need to part with them. <laughs> this one is bunny tails. I love a grass. I think they look really nice and effective in a frame. Um, lavender. We've got purple status or like lilac. It's more lilac than it is purple and some more dried grasses. I'd love a tree just with those on. I think they look, not blowing my own trumpet, but I think it looks quite effective. I need to fill this space out with more, but I've got solar lights on it that keep flicking on and off. They're really annoying. <laughs> I'm gonna have to wait till it's slightly darker to photograph it, but yeah, that is what I'm doing with my day. Good morning, guys. It's another day. As you can tell, I'm coming at you from the utility room. We finally got it finished this weekend. Uh, we've been doing loads of house jobs and just getting everything, a bit of a line drawn up under everything before Christmas. So a bit echoey because it's not completely decorated and filled up with stuff in here. But like I said, it's not finished. We've still got a gloss, um, paint the walls. I've got to hang my dried flowers up in here. The I think this end's pretty much finished other than a bit of glossing at the bottom. So I'll flip you around and show you. So we went with the green cabinets in the end. That is just a shelf sitting up here, it <laughs> needs to be taken down. Um, yeah, went for the sage green, I'm so happy with it. And oak worktops. So just got the washing machine, two cupboards, the Belfast sink. So yeah, it just fits in there so perfectly. I'm really happy with it. The only thing we need to do is the splash back. So this will be tiled. Um, don't know whether to go with green or just keep it simple and do like a off white. Not sure, let me know what you think, but um, we went with the brass fittings, which I love, in the old house where everything was silver, which was nice, but I really like the aged brass. I need to dust those. <laughs> um, and to match the brass tap, I got my little hand creams I bought from Dalesford. It's got the fig leaf hand wash and the fig leaf um, hand lotion. They smell incredible. I got this little, what do you call it, <sighs> like a crate. I think my uncle made that can't remember. I know my mum and dad have got one that he made. Did, has he, did he make me that? I can't remember. Um, it's just got this random writing on it. It's nothing to do with like us, but uh, yeah, I don't know what the hell I'm going to put in there, but we will find something. Like I said, it all needs painting because it, um, it's been painted once, but fixing the units has just scratched everything. So yeah, really happy with it. Love the oak worktop. Um, washing machine fits perfect and then if I spin you around this area is just not complete at all but uh, we've got the desk in so this is the end that's going to be the office and all the dog cage for the back of the car <laughs> just wedged under there but um, we've done the exact same oak work top over this side and then I'm going to hang all my dried flowers across the top for uh, my Etsy store I got these really cool vintage baskets. I've got two of them, but don't know what I'm going to do with the other one. This one's just hung here. Don't know whether to make it into like a sort of vision board or to hang some more flowers in there or to maybe even put some like strips of oak in there and have it as shelving. Not sure, but uh, yeah, they're really cool. This is an old antique uh, like jacket, hook, coat, rack, what do you call it? You know what I mean. Hang your jackets and coats on, but I thought it'd look cool in here with flowers on. As you can see, I've got some poppy heads drying at the moment. Then I got my old sieve at the end, which I need to um, oil. So yeah, we've got some more glossing to do down here. And then the rest of the worktop, I'm going to try and keep as clear as possible because I need it to work on and make wreaths and dried flower goodness. So yeah, that is the utility. That's as far as we got. Did I show you the floor? 
can't remember. Don't want to see my dirty washing. Um, it's just these, they're made to look like old sort of quarry tiles, but in a, like a beige. I think they were from Tile Choice. Uh, they were pretty cheap to be fair. I've got some bracken drying in the sink, ready to go in wreaths. I need to get some more of this. I'm gonna have to have a trip up to the wood one day and just collect a massive bag full. That is a utility. I know some of you guys uh, wanted to see it when it was done, so yeah, it's not done, but this is how far we've got with it so far. Uh, what am I doing today? I'm in the middle of cleaning the fridge out because I want it nice and clear for Christmas. I know we're a long way off, but as many jobs as I can get ticked off before then, the better. Um, I'm shopping the Black Friday sales, not massively, but there's a few bits I need to get online for people that I can't get in any shops. I want to, where I can this year, support small independent shops rather than big retailers. There's a few things I need off. The likes of look fantastic because I can't get them on the high street. Hello, puppy. So I've got a couple of presents to buy offline and then the rest will be small businesses this year because I've got one myself. And I know what the struggle is like. Um, so if you do have a small business and you want to share it, Pop it in the comments below and I'll take a look. Completely off topic of cleaning the fridge out. I'm cleaning the fridge out. I've got to go food shopping to restock it. We're off to the food show in Birmingham on Friday. So I need to leave some room in there for all the goodies. I'll probably get a lot of presents from the food show Friday as well. Because again, it's all small businesses and independent food brands. So yeah, looking forward to that. And I think I will do my vlogs in here. When it's less echoey because this is a way nicer backdrop than my actual kitchen. <laughs> but we did have some good news actually about the kitchen. We're having the whole of the downstairs knocked out in late February, March next year. So I'm so excited. Couldn't come quick enough. We've waited three years for this to be done. Yeah, I hate it in there with a passion. So that's getting done early next year. Um, we've had some kitchen designs back from the kitchen designer, which is exciting. We only had one person come around and look at it. I think we might get a few different opinions. Um, but yeah, it's gonna look so much better. I think just with some new cupboards in and the new flooring down, it's gonna make a huge difference. So very excited for that. I'm going out later with a couple of friends for something to eat. Um, but yeah, that's all that's happening really today. Probably not the best day to pick up the camera and talk to you because it's quite boring, but I'm going to see N-dubs on Saturday. <laughs> I'm such a chap. My uh, one of my friends got tickets for her. I think she got it for her birthday. It was just like a guilty pleasure. Still is. Good morning. I am back in the utility room doing some washing. <laughs> How exciting! I didn't film anything at the food show yesterday because, truthfully, we were pissed, <laughs> and I just forgot to pick the camera up. I think I took two photos, and both of them were gin. Uh, but yeah, we just walked around having samples of all the drink, all the food, and I didn't even think to pick my camera up. But today we are here again in the office, um, and I've just finished my makeup. If I look slightly bronzed, I need this to last the day because I'm heading to my friend Abby's in a bit, and we're going up to Birmingham to see End Ups tonight, which we're so excited about. They are such a guilty pleasure, and it was basically our childhood so well not childhood more like teens early 20s i'm gonna say i'm 32 and she's gonna turn 30 next year so we're gonna be like a couple of old women there but i'm hoping the age range will be pretty much the same i don't think kids these days listen to end ups do they although they have got some new songs but yeah, anyway, that is what I'm doing today. I've just headed out with the dog. Got them walked. It's quite a nice day, actually, so I'm hoping it's going to be okay. Other than we've had to book a taxi because all the trains are on strike and I can't be dealing with that. Um, it's just added pressure to the day out. I need to put some decent clothes on. What do you wear to a gig? I haven't been to one for a million years. I think we're going to head up there early. Taxi book for three and it only takes about half an hour to get there from her house. So... Yeah, I think we're going to grab some food. I'm not sure where, but yeah, make a bit of a day of it or an evening, late afternoon, early evening of it. So I'll take you with me. Obviously, I'm not going to be able to film the show because I probably won't be able to take this camera in. I'll get what I can on my phone, 
but I can't put the sound in because it'll get copyrighted but if I can zoom in for any of you Endubs fans then I will. I made um, the other day and chucked in the freezer two huge potfuls of vegetable soup. We had so many veggies in the fridge. Oh that's horrible lighting that needed using so I'm just defrosting a load getting my five a day before I go and sit in a um, room full of thousands of people. I was going to leave all the stuff we got from the food show in the bag so I could show you today but a lot of it was like perishables like cheese. We've got some lovely blue cheese. We've had it before. It's from a brand called Shepherd's Purse. Oh so we got the buffalo. Oh, that's really dark. We got buffalo blue and we got Yorkshire blue. This is so nice. If you love blue cheese, definitely recommend getting this if you can find it. I think they've probably got a website. A Northern Blue. Paul got a load of beer. We got whiskey. I don't think we bought any gins. We just drank a lot while we were there. Uh, we got our favourite Mr Vicky's hot go and curry paste. If you like a hot curry um, that's got flavour. Quite sweet, but it packs a punch. It's really nice. Um, and we got some of his mango chutney along with a banana habanero, which is so nice. That's really nice with um, crackers and like cheese board sort of things. And then another go and paste because we just get through it. What else did we get? Paul bought this horrible, I didn't, I wasn't a fan of this, um, from the sauce shop. Uh, the sauce shop Brussels sprout ketchup. I love a sprout on a roast dinner if it's cooked really nicely and it's still got some crisp but this is just like eating oh it's horrible real nasty <laughs> but he loves it and then we got carolina mustard barbecue sauce which was really nice we got goodie bags with like things like mold and salt in we bought some really nice salt from a company called Blackthorn and their Scottish Sea Flakes um naturally crafted on the west coast by wind sea and thorns uh, she went through all this spiel about how they dry out their salt and they've got like this huge it's almost like a cooling tower but it kind of brings the salt through oh i'm not even going to begin to explain because i was pissed at this point and i can't remember what she said but i'll link to their website down below but it was, was really quite interesting there's some stuff in there some oils we've got this really nice basil oil if you love just doing pastas and stuff this stuff is amazing. She had some really nice oils on her stand. Um, that's vodka for Paul's dad for Christmas. What else did we get? Bits and bobs. There's all this in here is Christmas presents for people. So I'm not going to show you because they watch my channel. <laughs> Goodie bags were quite good. Quite good to be fair. We got, um, got some L'Oreal hand sanitizer. That's the biggest hand sanitizer I've ever seen. Some Aveeno cream. Some mint. So yeah, everything we got was basically for friends and family for Christmas, so I can't show you too much because I know they watch this channel. But yeah, really nice day, and if you do get the chance to go to the NEC Good Food Show, then definitely go. We've been going for years, and it never disappoints, so. What do you wear to end ups when you're no longer a chav? <laughs> I mean, back in the day, we'd have gone in a velour tracksuit, but I don't own anything <laughs> anymore it's gonna be jeans a shirt and some boots i think and a big fluffy coat because it's gonna be cold in birmingham right i'm ready to go i haven't gone with anything too fancy just a brown shirt um leather look jeans from asos i think they're the asos ridley jeans and they're coated and then boots are primark i've just got to try and find a coat i don't know what coat to wear I might wear this huge sleeping bag one. Gold, it's chavy. I think it will fit the bill. <laughs> earrings are my Ana Luisa earrings. Necklace is Ana Luisa. That's about it, really. I'm not going to go too fancy. I will see you when we get there.
Good morning. I thought I would just round this vlog up because it's getting super long and I've just come to edit it and I need to put an ending together. So um, yeah, thank you so much for watching. N-dubs was so good. I'm so glad we went. It was a really, really good night. They're still so good after all these years. Maybe if not better. And Talisa's voice is just unreal. So uh, yeah, she can still bang it out, which I was very surprised about. We put the Christmas trees up this weekend. I can't remember what day. I finished off this vlog but yeah I was meant to film putting these up and completely forgot. So we've got a fake one over here and this is our real one but I'll probably show you that in the next vlog. Don't forget to check Anna Louisa out. I'm wearing their pieces again today. I'm in love with these hoops. I haven't taken them off. I absolutely love them and then this is the necklace I was telling you about before. It's got the little dog tag on um, and the big signet ring which I wear with my little signet ring as well from when I was I think probably about eight or ten mum and dad bought it me so don't forget to check Anna Louisa out their jewelry is insane again I will leave my discount code across the screen so you can get a little bit of money off and I will see you guys in the next video bye